Hey guys, this is Gamacow. I don't know why the hell I'm doing this, but I kind of feel like giving it a go, even though I never really played this. This is an SMWC production, of course, by Super Mario World Central. The collab ROM hacks, Wendell collab ROM hacks, I guess, because, yeah, it's kind of extremely big, I suppose. It's larger than uh, ASMT, because ASMT was like 79... was it levels or exits? I forget. This thing's got like 117 or something, though, and I know it gets stupid hard at the end, so... Yeah, looking forward to that, I guess. But, regardless of that, this is as far as I've ever played into the game. I sort of watched Rockhouse thing when he'd done it, and I was saying to myself that I probably wouldn't actually enjoy this. But, looking back at it, I think I will. However, I probably won't be doing this as often as I'll be doing the TCG stuff, because, yeah, this might take quite a long time to record stuff as it gets further in. But, enough of that, we can explain the rest of it as we go. There is a handy little cutscene skipping thing, which is good, and you can just go ahead and auto-scroll the stuff, which is what I'm going to do. Yes, so the story in this is just as stupid as uh, the story in ASMT. I'm sorry for those who um, worked hard on that story, but to be completely honest, stories in Mario Hacks are always going to be stupid, and really ASMT's one, as well as this in its own right, but they're really stupid for the right reasons. Like, they're not stupid as in, you know, they're unintelligent. They're stupid as in they're silly, and that's... yeah silly being a good trait for stories in this. But anyway, if you're reading this, then basically Bowser's got all the best eggs in the world, which means that uh, Mario, of course, is going to go and get them, because it's Peach's birthday and stuff. I'm not actually convinced about Mario's character in this. It seems really sporadic, even for him, and yeah... I mean, it's not the worst thing ever, but definitely could do with some differences, I guess. Who knows? Anyway, the point is, that's his house. There's nothing in there. Uh, I would show Toad Town off. I probably should, actually, yeah. I was going to say I would show it off, but there's no point right now, but... To be honest, there's no point at any time in the game anyway, so except the very end when you need to get something from there, so whatever. I like the way door transitions and stuff are handled, and I must admit I do not know half of these guys. They're probably uh, avatars from... Uh, what's its face? Uh, SMWC, most of them, because I recognize the wizard dudes like Snigger Wobble because I remember that from one of the hack I played before, but other than that, I don't really know any of them, because I don't go to SMWC at all, so... Yeah, there's dudes, there's, there's like, in, in references and whatnot. Most of them look quite good, though, I must say. Especially that thing that looks like Riolu, but isn't the right colour to be Riolu. But oh well, doesn't matter. So yeah, there's doors, most of them you can't actually go in. You can go in this one up here though, for some reason. That nets you one whole coin in that block there, and some more coins if you actually hit the block more. The coins in this game don't give you extra lives, they are... Wow, really? Is this thing going to just, like, keep giving me coins here? That seems a little bit odd. I don't remember this happening when I played last time. Uh, Okay, but sure, you can get lots of coins here if you so choose. The only reason you would want to get coins is so that you can go in here and you can buy items. The 1-up is way too expensive though, that's the equivalent of 10 normal lives, and it just... Yeah, it's not that great, and I won't be coming back here to buy items, most likely. So coins in this game are useless to me. Pretty much, until the very, very end, at which point you kind of need a uh, thing for that. But that's all there really is to this place, it's pretty basic. If you want to go back and buy stuff, then go ahead, but it will take quite a while to go back, so... There you go. And we start off with a bang, because that is the best way to start stuff off. I saw you there, Mr. Koop Dude, you are not catching me out with that right there. However, that shell... 
is potentially going to catch me if I'm not careful. I love this remix, by the way, this redux of uh, the game, that original song. And do tell me if the music is too loud here, because I think it probably is. But I set it up a little bit more because I didn't think it was loud enough in my testing, but maybe I've gone overboard with it now. Who knows? Who knows? I won't know until I've produced this, at which point I won't be redoing it, so there you go. You can get a Durgan coin down there, well, Durgan's probably the wrong word for it, but uh, whatever, you can get a coin down here, I guess I might as well. Because it ain't exactly difficult to get, and yeah, why the hell not? Pretty much. There's a thing here as well, if you want it. And for some reason, I'm taking a Goomba in with me. I don't know why, but eh, awesome Secret Mana music because Secret Mana is awesome. I didn't realize there was an extra life there, so I kind of dipped on that. But too bad. It's insignificant at the moment, to be honest, because I don't expect lives to be an issue until like next world or the world after, possibly. I, I will fully admit, I do not remember very much of most of the worlds in this. I remember some stuff, like I do remember uh, there's a Metroid level at the end of World 5, which I thought was quite good, you know, the Sky Sanctuary place. But, um, yeah, I don't really remember specifics all that well, so this is going to be a bit of a bit of a strange adventure, and yeah, I don't actually get the reference with those guys, because again, I don't frequent this place at all, so, you know, it's, it's a thing. We can go down the pipe, that's also a thing. Except we need stuff. So this pretty much shows that we can't get the secret exit right now, because the secret exit is going to be down there. Hi there, Chuck! How are you doing? <laughs> I didn't see that coming, but I'm quite glad for it, because I still got 30 stars somehow, even though I... Wow, that was, that was hilarious. I gotta say, the sprite work in this game is hit and miss as well. That's something, something I've never been a fan of. Like, some of them are really good. I like the Coopers, which is good, because there's a lot of them. And I kind of like the cuteness of the Monty Mole when that shows up, but I don't really like very many of the other ones as such. I don't know, they just seem a little strange, I guess, to me. I mean, I know ASMT's ones were strange as well. How the hell did that happen? I was ducking and everything and holding, like, forward stuff. How does that even happen? Well, there is the first death of this thing, and unlike ASNT, unfortunately, it doesn't have the uh, patented demo gimmick thing. Why am I getting this mushroom even though I, that's what killed me last time as being big, and I could have got a fire flower if I wanted to? I don't know. But yeah, there's no reason why that should have killed me. I was holding forward and everything. Oh well, we get a shell there if we want a shell, but I took a shell with me because I like carrying shells around. It's people that frequent my streams, you, well, did frequent some of my streams, would have known, because, yeah. And then there's the old spin me right round thing here, which is somewhat interesting, I suppose. I don't know, it's, it seems like a sort of gimmick of hacks is to have a stupid, um, stupid extra thing here. You get a lot of stars for pretty much no reason whatsoever. I don't quite know why you get so many there. I thought there was going to be another extra life, but nope. So this whole thing was just to get that one extra life and a fire flower, and that's that. However, it doesn't pull a dick move and shove you right back where you were. You do get into a safer position when you come out of that pipe, so it's, it's nice. Nice and family friendly. Lakitu, you are not family friendly. You must be destroyed. And I'm going to steal your cloud, because I'm a dick like that. I'm just going to steal people's clouds when I go ahead and kill them, and I'm just going to set it into space, because that is how much of a dick I am. I just, I relieve people of their clouds, and then send those clouds into space, because that is surely the most dickish thing that you can ever do. It's totally not a secret up here, by the way. You are seeing things right now. This is delusional talk from delusional people. And I didn't get any bonuses because I'm a delusional person. Yes, you are not seeing what you believe you are seeing. Nor are you hearing what you believe you are hearing. You are only hearing illusions. 
I don't know how you can hear illusions, but you can, so good for you. Anyway, that takes you straight to the castle if you wanted to go straight to the castle. Which isn't necessarily a terrible idea, so I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to. However, that is not what we are going to do because we are going to just go back through the level and not really have to worry too much. I can show off the place that I didn't go to last time, so there's also no point in me getting these dragon coins here because seriously, I can't get all of them anyway, but I figured I might as well show off some of where they were because that's how these things are supposed to go, right? I'm not really going to bother getting the dragon coins most of the time, but if they're sort of out in the open, then I will. Also, yay, extra lives, and then there's stuff here. It's always good when you can get extra lives in a game that doesn't give you extra lives by coins, and wow, that was actually a pretty precision throw, I must admit, I wasn't expecting that to work. But hey, I then go ahead and do stupid stuff like that, because that is exactly how these games work. You do all of the best stuff in the world, and then you get reckless, and you do all of the stupid stuff to follow, and you end up losing all your power-ups. Because you know, power-ups, they're kind of a big advantage, and who needs big advantages, right? Because you're right at the end anyway. How are you supposed to get all the dragon coins in this one, actually, now that I think about it? Because that one is separate. Maybe if you can go back somehow? But that seems a bit weird to me, I don't know. Anyway, after done scratching your stuff and muting the mic so we can't do that, we get to another level, which I really like. I actually love the concept of this one. And it starts off with the traditional Kirby awesomeness music, which is definitely something that's good. The pipe is where you're supposed to go, but if you go down here first, you can get yourself a power. Which is good, but that, as you could maybe tell, that's not the only thing that's around. There's a muncher down there, that's also around. But if you manage to get up here, then you can get more goodies. You can get coins, or you can get an extra power. So yeah, good stuff. We're going in with a fire flower, because that is how all the cool kids go in. So, Big Body Cave. It tells you that Mega Moles in lava do not support you, so do not jump on a Mega Mole in the lava. It doesn't work. As, it, as the name implied, though, this is Big Body Cave, so this is basically where all of the uh, large enemies of the game come in. Or, more specifically, enemies which could be smaller, but are in their large forms. Because, you know, you've got Hothead instead of Little Sparky, you've got Banzai Bill instead of Regular Bill, and you've got Mega Mole instead of Monty Mole. So, it's a, it's a pretty cool concept for a level, I must admit. I do quite approve of this. Not quite sure what that P-Switch is used for, though. It doesn't seem to fill anything. I'm just making sure I didn't miss any coins there. Because, you know, the Dragon Coins, they're kind of missable in these things. I suppose you could use it to get across here somehow, because I think the other, the, the question block I didn't hit there is a coin block, so you could use the, you know, coin trial block, so you could use it to get across there, but really it's not that much of a deal, so yeah, I don't quite understand what that's doing there, but hey, that's, that's something you can do, you can get a star for absolutely no reason whatsoever, no idea, apart from course and slow down. You know, from the game engine, I have no idea why the hell you would want that star. Anyway, midpoint time, and here is where it gets kind of cool, because now we've got the switch puzzle things, which I think is pretty neat, and yeah, I've always been a fan of stuff like this. You can get a mushroom if you want, I ain't that overwritten my fire flower though, so that was kind of dumb, but oh well. That's what I've decided to do, so that is what I'm going to have to live with. And yeah, there is a thing up there if you decide to go that way. But I ain't gonna go that way just now because I don't have the springboard. I could easily get the springboard, but I don't want to get the springboard because that's too meta, man, you know. Gotta stick to what we know, and what I know is not getting springboards. So, that's that. Uh, I want to do that, I think, so that I can get up here and then fall down anyway because it didn't register the whole button pressing of holding down Venus. Uh, I thought I was going to die there actually, I must admit, but 
Nuts to you, game. I ain't dying to that stupid ass reason. Up here, boosting power up thing. That's perfectly fine by me. And yeah, that's that part done. It's pretty good, to be honest. More power ups if you really need them. I don't quite get why you would, but hey. I guess the big baddie cave decided to go outside as well. Man, that, that dude's gonna get kind of annoying. So you know what? Nuts to you, Peace Witch. You're just kind of getting in the way now. As much as I approve of carrying items over entire stages, you're just sort of getting in my way. So it's best not to bother. I think, yeah, the last dragon coin is up here. So yeah, I'm actually running out of time because I'm just taking my time through this. But that doesn't matter because the goal is right here anyway. Just make sure you don't get hit by those guys at the end and time it to completely and utterly fail again and stuff. Truly, you are the greatest video game ever. Cow, seriously. You, you've you made this joke before in previous videos, but it's not important. Uh, I think it's fairly obvious where the secret exit in here is, so I'm going to meet you back for that when I get there. Yeah, actual editing. Shock horror. Okay, so we are in this domain now. I don't have the P-Switch because there was no point in taking it with me, but we basically need to get that springboard and go up there. Again, I think it's fairly obvious by the way the level is designed, but just in case it wasn't, that is the overarching goal here. So that is exactly what we are going to do, and we are going to accomplish it just like that. So yep, get up here, and the pipe is there, and here is where this starts getting really cool. Because, yeah, something is most definitely familiar. If you're paying enough attention, you will notice it as we go through, that this is essentially the same level again, but with the small versions of the enemies that we fought before. So it's, yeah, I, I really dig this sort of concept. I think it's definitely a cool idea. And, well, one key difference is that this is now a silver piece switch, which makes it much, much more useful, because that pretty much means that you can get lots and lots of lives here if you so desire, because you just get all of the coins. Which is pretty gosh darn great, because that gives you a whole ton of lives to start this game off with, and I approve of that, most definitely. However, if I didn't pick up the bullet one here, I could have sped this up, but oh well, you can see the keyhole is up there. A bullet would have spawned here, but it kind of picked up the coin instead, so I don't think I can speed this up at Oh no, I can't! Wow, I can... The idea of this is that you're supposed to go all the way round again and go back up top, but I just kind of said, screw that, I guess, and did it that way. So yeah, um... This has been Game of Cow playing Super Mario World Production Central thing. And join us next time when we go into the rest of this world, I guess, and clear it up. So, yeah. Hope people are going to enjoy this as it goes along. And hopefully not going to get too many comparisons to ye old Valcow who did this first, etc. I am going to try and do this entirely toolless. But I'm not guaranteeing it, because again, I, I don't play these hacks very often, and I know this gets batshit insane at the end of it all. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to stick to toolless, but I will try. Because I don't like using tools either, so... Except for checkpoints, like right there. So yeah, see you guys later.